Congress. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, Democrat from Illinois, who has been leading congressional advocate for executive action on immigration. You want to respond to Steve Schmidt and the president? Yes. First of all, stop whining and crying about what the president <laughs> did tonight. You control the House of Representatives. Under most normal circumstances, they said they didn't want the Senate bill. Well, guess what? They had the votes. They could have passed the House bill. We could have gone to conference. We could have resolved our differences. But in a very cynical manner, in June, John Boehner, the Speaker of the House, said, despite all my efforts, despite all your efforts, Mr. President, I'm not going to call a bill on immigration. I'm just not going to do it. And the President fulfilled his commitment to use his pen, as he uh, did today. So listen, even today, Chris, this, these executive orders, and there are multiple executive orders, are going to go into effect January 1st of 2015. It will take 180 days, let me underscore that, 180 days before any one of the 5 million people that are affected can go and apply for a work permit. It takes 180 days. You control the Senate, you control the House, call us, we're ready to work. This is a first initial step and an important step. And I want to say to everybody, I think what the president did tonight was wonderful because a community of people that have been demonized during the last elections, one senator after another, one member of the House on the Republican side after another used the porous border coming with criminal Mexicans and then saying that Ebola was coming and ISIS to win their election. Tonight, the president humanized that community of people. And I think that that's the debate and the discussion the Republican Party is afraid of. If you do not like what the president did, then act. You control the House, you control the Senate. Congressman Gutierrez, I want to ask about one other thing that Steve raised, which uh, we've heard over and over and over again from Republicans in Washington, which is that they don't believe in the border security part of it. Literally, they, not that they don't think it's a good idea, but they don't believe in it. They don't think it's real. The first thing the president announced tonight in this three-part plan was yet further resources to the border, yet more resources in terms of stopping people from crossing in the first place, catching them when they do, and sending them back. Steve said no Republican in the country believes that is true. That's obviously a fake assertion. What's behind the refusal to believe that deportations are at an all-time high, that border enforcement is at an all-time high? Why is that seen as a myth if you're a Republican? Uh, because I think, look, if you want to make it about people from Latin America, if you want to use xenophobia, if you want to use bigotry and hatred and prejudice, then you want to mix up the facts. The fact is that 40% of the undocumented didn't come through that border. They came through LAX, they came through JFK, they came through O'Hare, they came through Miami. They came here legally to this country and overstay. We never hear. And one of the congressmen, it said, when they crossed into America. Because it's always about crossing into mm -hmm. America. Well, guess what? They fly into America, <laughs> and they come on boats into America, and they come here to do a number of different things, and they overstay. They don't want to talk about it. They always want to make this about our, our, our neighbors to the south. So I think that that's part of it. The fact the president is very clear. But listen, Rachel, the Senate bill... They said they wanted 30,000 more Border Patrol agents. And you know what Democrats did? We found a way to fund 30,000 more Border <laughs> Patrol agents. We will give them the kinds of incentives that they believe they need in order to join us. But here's the problem. Immigration does not unite the Republican Party in the House of Representatives and Senate. You know what unites them? Being against what Barack Obama proposes. And as long as they put partisanship ahead of good public policy, we're going to have this crisis and problem. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, uh, many thanks for that. And actually an excellent point that this will unite Republicans if ever there was a chance of them uh, getting over their schisms on this issue. I'm sure we've done that tonight. Uh, joining us now